So here we are in the Tweed River and uh, back on my own again. Suzanne suffered badly from seasickness and uh, and uh, she had a pretty bad trip from Iluka to here. Not a great trip for her and when we got here she decided uh, it wasn't the life for her and she's headed home. <laughs> Well, we don't wear skimpy bikinis. Hell, it frightens me when I take my shirt off. There's definitely no one pregnant here. This is motor sailing for old dudes. We do live on a boat, and we do cruise extensively along the Australian coast. Join us and visit some great destinations. Learn how to look after a boat and live off grid. It might even get you enthused to do the same thing. Hey, stay out there till you can't. Uh, if I was uh, someone who was prone to seasickness, I don't think I'd be living on a boat. But anyway, um, Suzanne's headed back to Sydney. Um, so, a uh, bit of a shame, but um, yeah, these things are set to try, I guess. Anyhow, I'll spend um, three or four more days here. I think the weather's from the north until Wednesday at least, and there's a bit of a low forming off the uh, northern Queensland coast. I'll have to keep an eye on that. And uh, yeah, we'll try and plan our escape from here um, up, up onto the Gold Coast uh, in the next three or four days. But a good place to be stopped. I love it here in the Tweed. Um, this is a great spot. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cruisy. Well, uh, here I am back in the Tweed at Single Head. This is the Shio Shack, uh, one of my favourite spots in the Tweed River. It's a great little uh, cafe restaurant, good coffee, good uh, lunches, a bit of live music on Saturday too. Good morning, dudes. Thought uh, we'd do Dreamtime Beach this morning, a little bit of a walk from the boat, and uh, we'll walk up the beach and back. Might be the last beach I do for a while because I want to get back onto the Gold Coast. Bit of work to do on the boat, so uh, we've got some things to do there, and I'm dreaming up with other things too, coming up with some other ideas. But uh, anyhow, a bit of a forest walk to Dreamtime Beach. It's very nice here at Fingal, love it, and uh, plenty of walks and. You've got a general store and uh, the she oak shack. Looks like if you wanted to, you could walk all the way to Kingscliff. Well, beautiful. I just had to have a swim. Uh, the water's warm. Beautiful beach, you can walk for miles here. But uh, yeah, that's a good bit of exercise this morning. I think I'll head back and have a coffee. It's a pretty nice afternoon and uh, I've had a pretty good time at um, Finglehead. 
So uh, what we're going to do with the weather being pretty calm, the tide being right, uh, I'm just going to run the tide down to the mouth of the river, shoot out across the bar and head to the Gold Coast, probably about two or three hours and uh, I'll cross the Gold Coast Seaway, but the tide will be right to get back in as well. So we'll just navigate out of the river and uh, virtually heading home, I guess. Okay, uh, officially in Queensland, clocks go back one hour. the bar in the dark I guess but uh, pretty familiar one this one uh, like being home so uh, and there's no swell on out here it'll be a really easy crossing so this is the last bar we'll do for a little while and uh, I'll get onto the broad water we'll anchor up for the night and maybe uh, head a bit further up uh, tomorrow been a pleasant little trip about three hours it takes to get from the Tweed over here around about five knots uh, had the sail out earlier, but I've filled it up now. The wind's popped out a bit. And um, here we'll be in and pretty cosy in the broad water. Fantastic. I must have known I was coming back, but I didn't expect fireworks. Pretty calm night last night at uh, Wave Break. Just on the south side of Wave Break, I've got a little spot there. Not too many boats around during the night. A bit different this morning though, everyone's out. It's uh, the weekend. And uh, Broadwater on the weekend is a busy place. Lots of boats. I'm just um, heading up the Broadwater now. I'm going to go up to Jacob's well and uh, anchor up there and have a cup of tea with my mate Bruce. Haven't seen him for a while. And we've got about a week to kill before I can get back into my marina berth. My mate wants it for another week, which is fine by me. Uh, but then the plan is to get the boat into the marina berth, get it sorted out to leave for a little while, and uh, I'm going to jump in my car and head down to Melbourne and see my kids. 
try to do what I did uh, two months ago when I took the boat down there. Anyway, a bit of navigation going on here as well. So uh, that's the plan, but uh, we've got about a week to kill in the broad water before I tie the boat up and leave it. Had a good day with Bruce and Kay yesterday, caught up, which was great, and uh, had dinner with them last night. Now I'm off up the Broadwater again. I've got about a week to kill, so I'm just heading up to Maclay Island. There's some Facebook friends up there that want to catch up for a coffee, so I'm going to take the boat up there and um, have a coffee with them today. Probably as far north as I'll go, because uh, I'll start heading back. I've got a few things to do on the Gold Coast, so I'll get back and get them done before I uh, head back to my marina berth. Better do some navigating here. Just coming up past Horizon Shores now. Pretty good uh, speed at the moment. We're travelling around 7, 7.2, so uh, pretty good here. But uh, a little bit further up uh, is where the tide meets. It flows into here from both ends, from the seaway and the pin, and also from Morton Bay in front of us. So tide comes in, tide goes out. So we're nearly at the spot where the tide meets in the middle. So from then on, we won't be going that fast. We'll be pushing a bit of tide, but uh, anyway, not too far to go. Hi dudes, um, this is Karen. We've been friends on Facebook for quite some time now. And I've enticed her aboard to, to help me take the boat down to uh, the Gold Coast. So that's what we're doing and we just anchored at Slipping Sands. We've had a great day, we've had a swim, we've had some lunch, had some fun and now we're waiting for a storm to come in and belt us around a bit. So we're both looking forward to that as well. <laughs> so, uh, cool air. Yeah. So enjoying it so far? Loving it. <laughs>
Tipler's Resort, it's licensed, I think you get meals here. And we're gonna go in and see if we can get coffee. Oh yes, coffee. Well, we've walked for about an hour over to the ocean beach and I think this is part of Corran Cove, but it's all run down and pretty neglected. So I don't think it's uh, operating anymore, but it's a great little walk along a track. The boardwalk here is uh, not to be used, it's all fallen down, but uh, we're over on the ocean beach now and it's been a great little walk. We've uh, walked out to the surf beach from the boat club out to the Kurun Cove surf beach and what's happened now Karen? I just look at some funny bird. But we're actually lost. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've had to call on Dr Google to uh, find our way back. We're on a track unknown to any other man on this island. Well, uh, we found our way back. Thanks, Google. <laughs> it was a good walk. Uh, definitely worth doing if you come over to Tipplers. Find your way over onto the surf beach and have a look around over there. It's really good. Anyway, dudes, have a good day.